Yeah, it's a great view, but where are the dinosaurs? There should be Triceratops out there. Sometimes they're kind of hard to spot. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get those? Uh, these? Yeah, those. That, um, guy gave them to me, your boss, John Hammer, or whatever. He likes me. That was generous of him. Yeah. I see jungle and stuff, but no dinos. Just look around. You'll find them. Hey, there's a zoom thingy on here. We spare no expense. Hey, there's a dinosaur shaking that tree. Ah, oh, forget it. Just some birds. I see a... Oh, never mind. It's a rock. I see a rock. Can we go down there and see the dinos up close? When I worked in San Diego, did I let you into the tiger enclosure? That was totally different. Besides, I was only like seven. Right. And you scared the daylights out of me. What's that yellow flower? It's kind of like Mom's Bird of Paradise, only, you know, healthy. Sounds like Heliconia. We imported them from the mainland to brighten up the place. There's a pile of, like, brown stuff. Is that...? Probably. And that would tend to indicate a dinosaur in the area. I'm thinking more like ten. There's a car down there. Must be Hammond's visitors. He's got some hotshot paleontologists here to see the park. I bet they get to see some dinos up close. How come you've been some of the nice dinosaurs? It's safer for them, and safer for us. Herbivores can be dangerous too. Like, educational if I stuck around here another day or two? You know, I think your mom might miss you a bit. Are you kidding me? She'd be, like, totally happy. Oh, come on. No, she wouldn't. Yeah, she would. What's that little bunker building? Just a maintenance shed. For dinosaurs that need repairs? Yeah, sure. We like to keep them tuned up, you know. have more flowers here than dinosaurs. Yeah, but they're good-looking flowers, right? There's a bunch of, like, dinosaur footprints around that plant. Our Triceratops are big fans of banana leaf. They're probably nearby. Wait, wait, I definitely see one! He just ran away. Actually, it's a she. They're all female. So which way did she go? Hmm. The footprints go in the stream. Sure. The Triceratops went in for a dip. She must have come out somewhere. Footprints coming out of the stream. You're on the right track. Okay, I see her. Wait, there's a bunch of them. Oh, awesome. They're fighting. I totally wanted to see this. Well, actually, it's more of a dominance display than a fight. You remember how patchy was when your mom got that new puppy? Lady Margaret's like that with the younger Triceratops. Seriously? Lady Margaret? Yep, that's what we call the Alpha. See those horns? They're more than three feet long. Good for fighting T-Rex, right? When do we get to see that? <laughs> that's not gonna happen. I'm busy enough without holding gladiator fights. Which reminds me, remember I said I've got a sick Triceratops to check on? I should get going. I'll drop you at the guest house. Really? Already? Well, it'll give you some time to pack your stuff. The boat leaves tonight, remember? I don't have any stuff. I practically just got here. 
Well, at least you got to see Triceratops fight. Actually, it was more like a dominance display. Smart ass. Come on, let's go. What's up for clear skies tonight? No fun on that boat when the waves are rough. I told you, Nedry isn't here. Fat bastard's probably stuck in a doorway somewhere. Don't worry about it. Plan B is ready. I have Plan B right here. Nedry's not gonna double cross us. The money's too good. No, she doesn't know your name. She doesn't know anything she doesn't need to know. What, do you think it matters? Hey, guess who's on the line? It's Dodgson. I got Dodgson here. She doesn't care. Come on, my contact's gonna be here any minute. Does Injun know you stole their jacket? This is a covert op. I gotta blend in. Yes, yeah, so what about me? Just, uh, follow my lead. What's in the photo? This. This is what's gonna make us both rich. It's what we're here to collect. Shaving cream. Uh-huh, sure. Shaving cream. How long are we gonna wait for your contact? It might be a while. Uh, according to the tracker, he's not even close. Your man isn't coming. Let's go find him. Just relax. Chances are, Nedry's gonna show up at the last minute. Oh, no, fuck. Okay, I guess we're going in after him. If anyone stops us, show him this, this... What's the problem? We need access passes to get past security. Damn it. I gotta make a phone call to an idiot. Don't let anyone see you. Without those passes, we're close. Huh. Osprey, K. Merto. Thanks a lot. Very helpful. Well, we're host. Maybe not. What do you mean? I got the guard's phone number. Call him and keep him busy. What, then you sneak past and I stay here? That's not gonna work. No, Baboso. I can get us the access passes. Fine. What should I tell him? Just keep him talking. Uh, hi. Hi, yes. Uh, I'm calling from payroll. Uh, we've lost some data here, and it's a bit of an emergency. Uh, I need you to give me some information. I've got him talking, okay? Just do whatever it is you're gonna do.
No, no, like I said, I worked the morning shift, but that was only as a fill-in, because they were a man down. Just told you that. To. Sure, that's no problem. Yeah, but hold on. There's one more. Hey, I thought you said. Oh. Okay, that was good, but. Hey, hey, hold on a second. You work for me, remember? That means I Hold call the there. shot. You can't go that way. Hello there. Hi. Uh, uh, we have passes. Well, that's good. This is a storm evacuation. All non-essential personnel need to leave the island. You need to get on that boat. Yes. I, I mean, I, I have some uh, some essential... Who are you with? I'm I'm with you. I'm new. What about her? She's, she's, uh, she's with maintenance. <clears throat> go ahead. Tell him. I do repairs. In this storm? What exactly are you fixing? I fix fences. Rain or no rain, you've got to get them repaired. What's with the machete? It's a good tool. All purpose. Cutting, pounding, you name it. Anchor up in five. All aboard now. This means you, Barney. I don't have time for this. Do you vouch for her? What? I said, do you vouch for her? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Move your butts. Next time, you better let me do the talking. If they go knock us. At least, the rain's easing up. Ow! Injun should have paved this whole island. Injun should never have come here. What? Step back, Mr. Chadwick. What, you don't like my aftershave? I don't want any accidents. Pretty good at this stuff, huh? I practice. <sighs> Andale, pues. What is this monstrosidad? Engine is ruining the island. Is it so important to keep people out? No, it's more about keeping things in. No, just it, it. It's just it's sort of like a zoo. You know what I mean? A zoo? For what? Don't don't worry about it. There's nothing you know dangerous in there. Just find find a way through. What's behind the fence? The only thing that matters. The canister. What does your little toy have to say? It's a portable tracking system, sweetheart. And it says that we're damn close to that canister. It's a lot of trouble for shaving cream. What are we really after? That's on a need-to-know basis. I need to know what's so important about that shaving cream. It's worth a lot of money. That's what's so important. You don't seem the type for field work. Yeah, I usually contract it out. But in this case, I'm making an exception. So why are you here instead of behind the desk? Too much money at stake. Plus, Dodson was driving me bats. You must be a really important guy. Well, I am an expert on co 
Okay, listen, can we focus on the fence here, please? 10,000 volts. Why so much? Probably just trying to keep out the teenagers. I still no me gusta nada. Maybe the storm knocked out the power. Only one way to find out. The light's off. I bet that means the power's out, right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ladies first. be out. <sighs> oh, thank God. I, I mean, you know, it's just... Lead the way. Bakiro, like a bird, but much too big. I, I told you, it's a zoo. All kinds of animals. Come on, get moving. We're close. Did you hear that? What was that? An animal. Something I've never heard Shh. before. Okay, well, let's... We, we should... Animal, I know. We call him Mokupa. I hate this damn chuckle. Look, this way. This is it. The signal's topped out. It's nearby. It's too dark. I need light. Where's your flashlight? You took it. Right, right. Did I drop it? Did you see me drop it? Damn it. Over there. There we go. Hey, Nedry! You get stuck or something? Nedry, you deaf? I'm not collecting that in my new stomachs. Hey, I'm gonna go around. It'll be faster. I'm waiting for you. Hello? Mr. Chadwick, where are you? Y ahora, donde se fue el comadreja? Esto no me gusta nada. Just jump me. He was on your friend here. Oh, disgusting. There was something feeding on him. What the hell kind of zoo is it? Listen, I told you, don't worry about it, okay? It was it was just some animal. We'll get the canister and then we're out of here. Where is it? I can't find it. Where's the canister? Shaving cream, where is it? Oh, 
should I know? If it's not in the car, it could be anywhere within 300 meters. Crap. Oh, Dodson's gonna kill me. Is Dodson gonna kill me? Don't worry about him. Worry about that thing. I'm worried about it, okay? What am I supposed to do? You know we can't go back empty-handed. Look there. Look where? Look, Prince. Your man took a walk. We follow his trail like tracking game. That's how we find the canister. Right. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, whoa. But hold on. What if one of those, uh... Oh, okay, you look down there, and I'll... I'll check the car again, just, uh... Just, just in case. Blind in the dark. The man's car was stuck. He pulled the winch line down to find an anchor. Malona. That thing was stalking him. Was trying to come to us. No human tracks here. Can't be in here. He never made it this far. What kind of monstruos are they keeping here? He went to the tree and back. He came after. Not in a hurry. It was... interested. We need to get out of here before that thing comes back. It's a good anchor. He could have gotten free. The tracks lead here, but it's too damn dark to see. Mr. Chadwick, you can help me with the lights on the car. No, listen, I'm I'm busy. Any luck? No. Those tracks of yours better lead somewhere. Or we're never getting out of here. It was a heavy man. Not hard to track. This can't be good for my sinuses. tree with a winch line. Then, something got interested. Something hungry. Ah! <gasps> Friggin' bugs! What? What's the problem? Nothing. Did you find it? The canister's not here. Oh, crap. 
Oh, I'm so screwed. No, we can't give up. His trail ends back at the car. You must have missed something in there. Not a chance. I turned that thing inside out. It's gonna smell like a dead fat dude for a week. Fine. I'll take a look. Knock yourself out. I could use some fresh air. Canister. Nothing. You like your sweets, eh, gordito? You had a canister just about this size, didn't you? You didn't lose it down below. You had it with you. He came back to the car in a rush. He hit his head, and he fell. If he dropped the can... wonder of the world. You want to screw in, Jen? This is it. The crown jewels. They lose control of this, they got nothing. They're dinosaur embryos, honey. Don't tell me you thought we were after shaving cream. Dinosaurs? I don't understand. You don't need to understand. That'll keep them fresh. What? What's your problem? Behind you. Oh, crap. You do it. Yeah! That's what you get, you little punk! Let's get out of here. Okay, all right. All right, you know the plan. My, my boys are sending a boat. We bring them the canister. We get paid. We go home. We cannot walk to the meeting place. Not with these monstros around here. Right. We'll take the car. Bring down the car. I'll, I'll stay here, and uh, I'll cover you. Who's afraid now, huh? covered. get eaten. I never should have gotten off the boat. I want to be back on the boat. Miles, shut up! Yeah, light. What? What? Give me a 
favor and just keep your mouth shut. It doesn't matter if it can't hear us. It can smell us. I have a plan. Plan? What plan? All we gotta do is start the car and drive out of here. Start the car? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It can't. It won't. It won't start. Now what? You can fix it. Me? I don't crap about cars. I have a guy do that for me. I'll fix it. You gonna fix the car in the dark? That's right. That's a loose battery cable. What does that mean? Where's the battery? Did you check the, uh, the valve? The guy who does my porch, he, he always checks the valve. Shut up. That's it. Let me get it tight. There we go. Gracias a Dios. What? Oh, God.
we are officially late. I was ready when you said. I just couldn't find my CD player. It's fine, sweetheart. They won't leave without us. Us? You're coming to Dallas? Oh, just to the mainland. I, I have to be back after the storm. I'll drive you to the airport. Cool. That's weird. The fence lights are out. Is that a bad thing? I'm sure it's fine. Somebody just needs to replace them. DJs aren't so great out here, are they? Well, I guess I was slightly off about the clear skies tonight. Better have barf bags on that boat. After the park opens, there's gonna be a lot more to see. You can come for another visit then. Okay, that sounds cool. So, everything okay at home? I mean, how's school going? I don't know. Boring. I got a big Spanish test coming up. I well, can't help you there, but your mom knows a little Spanish. Look, Jess, I've been working so hard. We just, we haven't had much time to talk. Uh-oh. Jess, your mom told me about the, the shoplifting. I, I was just fooling around. I didn't take anything good. What did she say? Look, she's worried about you, honey. I know she gets dramatic, but it was a shock for her. Got me a little worried, too. I know, I know, I'm a screw up. Sweetheart, no, no, it's, it's not that at all. I just, I want you to promise Dad. me. No, no. She's alive. She's breathing. Hello? Are you in pain? This is strange. It's like some kind of... Oh. She needs medical attention. We've got to get her to the visitor center. Who is she? Do you know her? I don't recognize her, but it doesn't matter. Were you serious when you said you can drive a stick? Oh, yeah. I, I can do it. Mom doesn't know, but... That's all right. Just get yourself up front. Try not to scare me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Come on, sweetheart. We gotta get her out of here. We didn't do that, did we? No, we didn't do this. This is something else. I'm gonna check her vitals. Just take it easy and follow the signs, all right? Okay, no problem. What is this? What? Looks like she's been bitten. Bitten? You mean, like, by a dinosaur? I don't know. Uh, bruising is showing evidence of toxins, but this isn't a Dilophosaur bite. None of the other dinosaurs are poisonous. I don't think I want to be out here anymore. Yeah, we need to get her to the visitor center. She's bradycardic. Heart rate's only 33. Oh, she's burning up. What's wrong with her eyes? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's like a reaction to a parasitic infection. To, God, I don't know. Maybe, maybe toxoplasmosis. That doesn't explain the other symptoms. Come on. Come on. Stay with me now. Jesse, I gotta clean this wound up. Just keep driving smoothly. Okay. Okay, this might sting a bit. Alejate de me. It's okay. Settle down. No. Oh, come on, please. I need to clean this up. Does she know you're trying to help? No. Oh, come on, please. I need to clean this up. Hey, listen to me. You need to let me help you. Alejate de me. No, no, no. Listen, I'm a doctor. Gonna make it better. Doc, I 
Medico? Yes, Medico. I'm going to disinfect your wound now, okay? You gotta let me help you. Mm. Well, that should keep the infection at bay. I don't know what you were doing out there, but... Dad? It's okay. She's going into shock, but I can handle it. I can stop. Oh my god, this is bad. Watch the phone. Gotcha. Wow, that needle's huge. Keep your eyes on the road. Listen, you're having a secondary reaction to the toxins. I'm going to give you an injection right now to make things better, okay? Listen, I gotta give her an injection. It's important that I access the vein. Oh, I, I don't need details. Just slow down so I don't miss. Oh. <sighs> well, that should keep her stable. Okay, I'm gonna get her bandaged up. You okay to keep driving? Yeah, I'm good. Tell Mom I'm ready for my learner's permit, okay? I don't think Mom needs to know about it. How is she doing? Well, she's okay. For now. But this toxic alteration just doesn't make sense. Dad. Maybe some of the dinosaurs are eating poisonous Dad. plants. Jess, why are we stopping? She's beautiful. She, right? Right. Well, we're lucky this young one's by herself. Wouldn't want to meet the Alpha out here. Lady Margaret, she's uh, pretty protective. We've discovered that family groups emerge even without the usual genetic relationships. Young Triceratops join the family Dad, the moment they... you're ruining it. Right. <laughs> Sorry. This little one's name is Bakita. What is she doing way out here? Got to get this critter back in her enclosure. I'll just be a sec. Wait here. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Easy, girl. Musa Kalamusa, huh? You really love this stuff, don't you? How did you get out here, huh? Did you push this gate open? Come on, girl. Get moving. Come on, girl. Let go. Come on. This is a road, not a restaurant. What's wrong with the gate? It's locked in the open position. There should be a manual release in the shed, but didn't I say to wait in the car? It's no big deal. See? We're all right. We're fine. Right? She's pretty cute, huh? She's warm. I, I didn't think that she'd be so warm. She's okay. She's all right. She's just getting to know you. Right, Paquita? Okay. Look, I need to get this girl out of the way. Now that you've met her up close, would you please go back to the car? Are you kidding me? New faces make her nervous. She'll be a lot easier to manage if you're in the car. Oh, all right. Okay, I need to get you out of the way, and I need to unlock the gate from the maintenance shed.
There's plenty to eat in your paddock, girl. Come on, that's where you belong. Well, at least we're still on the right track. What's in there? Apart from the release lever for the gate, just maintenance stuff. Uh, spools of cable for fence repairs, work boots, snow shovels. Snow shovels? What for? Well, it's not for shoveling snow. Oh, ew. Hey, honey, how's our patient doing? I don't know. Okay, I guess. How's her breathing? Okay, I guess she's kind of snoring in Spanish. Hey, Jess, you remember that movie? Uh, what, what's it called? One with the giant spiders. Is this one of your old movies? Because if it is, I don't know it. You know, the, the one where the family hides in the old tool shed. Come on, come on. We watched it on Halloween when you were little. I bet I was in a candy coma. Should be a manual for this in the car. Jesse, look at the glove box for me. There should be a manual in there with access codes to the shed. Okay, just a sec. Find those codes? Is it in this little black book thingy? Yeah, look for the access codes for the Triceratops maintenance shed. Uh, okay. One five six three three seven. Three three seven. Okay, thanks, sweetheart. Barrels of healthy feed for the herbivores. Too bad they refuse to eat it. Must be running off battery backup. Cameras must be on the fritz. Security wouldn't ignore a loose triceratops. That ought to do it. Now to get Bakita away from her snack. Jess, just try the lights or the horn or something. Anything to get her attention. Okay. Mom's not gonna be happy when I don't show up at the airports. She'll survive, but I'm gonna get it. Hey, Dad, what do you want me to do? Try using the lights or, I don't know, the horn. Maybe you can annoy her into moving. Yeah, that might work. That's how Mom gets me out of the house. Do I have to, like, blind you before you'll move? Come on, look at me! You got her away from the branch. Okay, Jess, this isn't some kind of rave here. A rave, Dad? What do you know about raves? I know you really don't want to see your old man start dancing. Oh, please don't. All right, Jess, she's got the point. I think she needs a reminder. I swear I saw her looking at me funny. This woman was doing on the road. I have no earthly idea. So she's just like some random crazy woman running around in the jungle? Could be. When she gets better, we'll ask her. So you guys really didn't know Triceratops and um, a Taurosaurus are the same dino? Hey, wait a minute. When did you become an expert on Ceratops today? 
I'm just a natural born genius. Plus, it was on the tour. There you go, back where you belong. Now I can close that gate. Uh-uh, no you don't. Get back in there. Jess! I'm on it!
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. How about you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. What about her? Well, two arms, two legs. <sighs> well, that should get her through the night. What's left of it. Tomorrow, we'll get a proper treatment. I don't hear those dinosaurs anymore. I bet they're far away. Yeah. That reminds me of your old honey bear nightlight. Remember that? You can go to sleep without it. Yeah, dinosaurs can't get through that door, right? Well, they could try, but they couldn't possibly fit through. Dad? Yes, sweetheart? Remember how I said I wanted to see the dinosaurs fight each other? Yeah. That was so awesome. Get some sleep, honey. one. I'm not sure Lady Margaret made it. Oh, right. Wow. This isn't supposed to happen. One loose trike, okay, but a Tyrannosaur? That's beyond unacceptable. I gotta talk to Muldoon and the security team. Uh-oh. Are you gonna bring the hammer down? Look, whoever let this happen has to be held accountable. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the hammer down. Cool. So, how are we gonna get to the visitor center? That's an excellent question. No car and no radio doesn't leave us a lot of options. Well, at least the main power's back on. That should be good for something. And we have video. How did you do that? It's an easy hack. The system's held together with spit and bailing wire, like everything else in this damn park. Looks like we're not the only ones who missed the boat. They won't last long in the open. Let's get them out of there. How do we get to them? We're miles away, and the access road is washed out. We may be stuck here in the boondocks, but those two are standing right on the main tour loop. Watch this. Here we go. I just hope the system's online. Damn it. Okay, fine. I better get security access. Come 
Come on. You didn't say the magic word. Oh, Dennis Nedry. You want a magic word? I've got some just for you. Of course. All right, we've got access. Let's see what we can do with it. Is more like it. How long have I been saying this whole park is doomed to catastrophic failure? Pretty long. Hope one of these junk heaps is still working. Okay, little lambs, just wait right there and I'll send a car to fetch you. Come on, honey, let's get our patient. Where is this thing gonna take us? These tour cars only go a few places. If you can hear us, we need to go to the visitor center. Looks like one of them's hurt. I'm surprised it's only one. Let's get him to the center. Jess, just keep talking to her. Tell her she needs to relax. She's got to rest. My Spanish isn't that good. You can do it, honey. Just, just tell her she needs to rest. Mariquita, ¿qué pasa, mi amor? Uh, uh... Usted? Necesita. El descanso? Usted necesita el descanso. I guess summer school paid off. Miss Ortega's never gonna believe this. Dad, look! I think this is our stop. Somebody help us, please. Hello? What happened? Where is everybody? I... I have no idea. But I'm, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Wherever they are, they'll be back soon. Jess, I think you should stay by our patient. I'm gonna look around a little, okay? Okay, but why are you talking like that? Someone's trying to contact us, right? It's coming from the PA system. 
They must be broadcasting on the emergency channel. Hang on, I'm gonna track this down. Nothing here. That's sickle claw on the second digit. Velociraptor. What the hell happened here? I don't know how they got in here or what killed them. I really don't feel like finding out. How you doing, Jess? Hanging in there? Hang me a smoke. I'll take that as I'm fine, Dad. I can't hear myself think. It's giving me a headache. I'll turn down the volume. As soon as I figure out how to turn down the volume. I bet every radio in Jurassic Park is picking up this signal. How's our patient? Pretty much the same. She doesn't look so good. That does not look normal. It's gotta be safer in here than out there. Hey, are you okay? Should we, like, get out of here? I just need to figure out where this broadcast is coming from. Found anything? Nope, but I think I'm getting warmer. One of the nice dinosaurs, like the kind that didn't try to step on me last night. Don't like die or anything, okay? What a mess. We've seen better days, huh? Nope. They look so harmless in the picture. full of lunchboxes and T-Rex action figures. What happened? Hold on. Seriously messed up. There's a radio in there. Can I help? You got it! Let's get this channel right. Hello? Hello? This is Jerry Harding. I'm the chief veterinarian. I know who you are. This is Laura Sorkin. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Dr. Sorkin, you're still on the island? We're stuck in the field lab. The road's washed out and our phone lines are down. What's your story? We saw a T-Rex on the tour road. My daughter and I are lucky to be alive. Do you know what's going on? Security went down last night. Naturally, the park's going to hell. Looks like Hammond already evacuated. I don't think he meant to leave us. No, of course not. I'll try to call the mainland from here. They'll send a helicopter. But first, Doctor, I've got a very, very sick woman on my hands. She seems to have been bitten. I, I don't recognize the bite. Whatever it is, it's incredibly toxic. Toxic? And... Is that a ragged, heterodont bite pattern about 20 centimeters across the jaw? That sounds about right. What about her eyes? Discolored sclera, opsoclonus? Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm seeing. You don't have much time. She's
She's gonna go into a series of convulsions and she won't come back. Do you have any carfentanil? What is going on here? How did you- I don't have time to explain. A quarter mil should do it. Left- Dr. Sorkin, home. with all due respect, that dosage would kill Dr. Her. Harding, you've got to trust me on this. You need a powerful tranquilizer to counter the toxins. You need it quick. All right. If you want uh, all right, okay, uh, maybe in the lab. No, no wait, the trank darts for the rifle. That's in a torphine blend. That could work. Get that into her as quick as you can. In the meantime, stay with her. When the shaking starts, you need to hold her steady. Isn't that dangerous? I mean, normally if someone's having a seizure... Please, just follow my instructions. Her life depends on it. Call me on this channel after you've given her the tranquilizer. Will do. I need to move that woman so I can work on her. And I'm gonna tranquilizer need... Tranquilizer darts. Yeah, I heard. They're in the car. I'll get them. Okay, but listen to me. If you hear anything, see anything, don't take any risks. You just come straight back here. Don't worry, I'm on it.
Dinosaurs. In that case, let's go home. Come on, I need to make a phone call. How long has it been? We found you last night. We almost, like, ran into you. Maldita sea. So, who is Mariquita? Mariquita? It's, it's nobody. A word. Oh, my Spanish is so lame. I was trying to talk to you in the car, and it's like, I thought you were gonna kill me because my grammar sucks. So, um, what did we talk about? Help's on the way. The control room's a mess, but the phones are working. Hey. You look a whole lot better. Help is on the way? Ingen is sending a rescue team. The helicopter will be here soon to take us to the mainland. We'll get you looked at by a people doctor instead of a vet. A rescue team? Ingen. My things. I had a pack. Oh, it's right here. Huh. That bite on your arm. 
What happened? Something in the jungle. Take it slow. Start from the beginning. I do repairs. They call me in because I'm the best. You know what? I don't have time for this. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Take it easy, don't push yourself. There won't be any rescue. Not for you. Listen up, people. We are looking for two subjects. A Caucasian male, 6'1", in his late 40s, and his daughter, 5'5", 14 years old. They are unarmed civilians, but may be accompanied by unauthorized personnel. There are some really big-ass friggin' lizards out there, so watch your backs and keep your muzzles forward. Engine running. Be ready to get us out of here. Roger. Oscar, it's Garza. But dinosaurs didn't take him down. It looks like he was shot to death. By who? You know? Park security? Something ain't right. Man, those are some serious trank darts. That's one big footprint. That dino print looks fresh. But unless every dinosaur movie I've seen is full of crap, I don't see anyone around here who looks like they were chewed on by a T-Rex or anything. This doesn't look like a dinosaur attack to me. Shell casings everywhere, but not many strike marks from hostile fire. Lots of small dino tracks. I don't see any around. D 
Damn, Lenaris. What were you shooting at? Didn't even go for cover. Lenaris is dead. Shot? Yeah. In the back. Guess someone wanted Bravo Team to stay put. Stay sharp. We don't want to be next. Looks like the chopper was shot down trying to take off. Uh, are you seeing this crap? What do you make of this? I don't know yet. Billy, get up here. I don't know what. Get away from me, damn it! Get away! What the hell? Vargas. What the hell did all that? It's a lot of blood. Not everyone's accounted for. But everyone out here is dead. This doesn't look like a dinosaur attack to me. Casings up here indicate there was fire from the entrance. But no one was shooting back. Decaf, we're going in. Watch your ass out there. Watch your six. Trust no one. What the hell happened to you guys? It's not my fault. We couldn't see them. Only your eyes. Come on out now, Vargas. What the hell? You ought to get back. I got this. I'll see if there's another way around. Quit screwing around, Vargas. Get out of the light! They'll see you! an order. The sitting ducks here on the beach. We've got to find shelter. What do you think you're doing, Vargas? I found some security monitors. I can use the security cams to spot them. Talk to me, Yoder. Where is he? Can't see Vargas. Let's see if you can get him to move. I'll get him. Yoder. I can't see Vargas. It's too dark. Where are you? In the trees? Show yourself! What the hell? Yoder, I'm blind out here. Check the monitors. Can you see anything? Right side, behind the rock thing. Where's Vargas? He's hiding. See if you can get him to move. happened to you guys? They're everywhere. Even now, watching us. We gotta... We gotta... 
Oscar, we gotta find out what happened to Vargas. Get him some help. Forget it. He's lost you. Security office. Maybe there's something on the tapes. Hang in there, Vargas. Hey, there's another security monitor over there. See if you can find anything on the videotapes. We should go. We can't just leave him like that, man. If we can find out what happened, maybe we can help him. Huh. Well, I guess his camera's been down for a while. All right, Bravo team couldn't have gotten here more than 30 minutes ago. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing going on here. There, see? What is that? Don't know. Take a look at this. Who the hell is that? I'm guessing those are the hidings. So that woman just ran off with our paycheck. <laughs> Jeff, get that engine started. We're lifting off. Please, listen to me. Whoever you are, you have to take us back to the visitor center. You have no idea what you're getting into out here. I know my way. I just need you to keep us safe from these creatures. Oh, really? How am I supposed to do that? Electric fences are down, dinosaurs have free run of the island. None of us are safe here. Do you understand that? This is InGen Rescue Team Alpha trying to reach Dr. Jerry Harding. Obviously, the visitor center was compromised. If you're still out there, we're trying to... Dad, if there's a rescue team coming, maybe we should try to leave a trail for them or something. Jess, that's enough. If we want to keep out of the way of dangerous predators, I'm gonna need to know where we're headed. Norte. North? To the coast, what for? Don't worry about it. Ugh. You're hurt. Let me help you. Dad, help me! We're going to rest here for a minute. If we're stopping, I'll need to make a fire. It'll keep the dinosaurs away. Fine. Stay where I can see you. Is there anything I can do? Stay close. Are you sure you're okay? That might look pretty bad. Normally I work with animals, but I am very well trained in first aid. I'd, I'd like to go ahead and take a look at your wound again, if you'll let me. I'm fine. Look, you're gonna need it cleaned and dressed again to avoid infection. If you bring us back to the visitor center, I can get a hold of some antibiotics for you. You, girl. Yeah? Some of these trees have fruits that look like tiny blueberries. Bring some to me. Uh, okay. It's Jess, by the way. What? Uh, Jess. My name's Jess. Okay, Jess. Bring me the berries. They're good medicine. Are these the berries you need? See, si. bring them here. We're losing daylight. Come on, girl. I need those berries. Here. Uh. Nima. Gracias. Um. Dinara. She's a good kid. I know. Hmm. Don't wander off. It's very easy to get turned around out there. Back off some, okay? So, what did you do with the radio? Why? Thinking of making a call? Uh, no, I was just wondering. Well, quit wondering. I've got it right here. 
So why is it you don't want to go with the rescue team? Are you like one of those radical environmentalists or something? Does Injun have like a file on you? They don't bother keeping files on people like me. What? What? Nothing. Dad? There are some fresh dino tracks here. They're small, like a chicken's. Uh, it's likely Compsognathus. I saw lots of them while we were walking. It's relatively harmless. It's nothing to worry about. Are these berries edible? I'm hungry. That plant is poisonous. A handful of those berries is enough to kill a grown man. Oh, they look delicious. Maybe just a couple wouldn't hurt me. Yes. Hey, Dad, there are some eggs over here. Any chance they could be dino eggs? Eggs? No. Remember, all the dinosaurs on the island are female? Still, just leave them alone. We have enough problems without an angry mama bird or lizard to deal with. That's a weird looking plant. Hey, don't wander off. Hey, Dad. Are these berries edible? Probably not. It's best to steer clear of anything we find out here. Hey, what are you staring at? Me? Nothing. You're the one staring at me. Why don't you look somewhere else? Whatever. Come on, look somewhere else. Need that radio. Is there anything else I could do? I could look for water or... No. Be ready to leave soon. You're kind of quiet, Dad. Don't be stupid. Look, before we go any further, I want to know why you're here and what you plan to do with us. You'll be okay if you do what I tell you. Whatever it is you think about Injun, you're the one forcing us through the jungle at gunpoint. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? You people come down here and think you can do anything you want because you have the money to bribe a few politicians. Don't push me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... You know nothing about me. We are not simpatico, comprende? You say another word, and I will shoot you and leave you for the scavengers! Please, just calm down. I didn't mean anything by it. Just shut up. Okay, okay, whoa! I won't, I promise. I will, don't hurt us. Just don't hurt us. You put us all in a lot of danger. You owe me an explanation. I owe you? You better watch your choice of words. Okay, all right, you're you're right. I'm just I shouldn't have said anything, okay? I'm just I'm trying to understand. You don't need to understand. You just keep doing as I say, I everything will be fine. Okay, okay, I will. I just I will just relax. We're all okay here, right? Do you have any family? None of your business. I just thought that if you could understand how- You love your daughter, don't you? Oh, uh, yes, of, of course. You'd do anything to make sure she grows up safe. Yeah, I would. Good. Then I know you'll do exactly as I say. And as long as you do that, I won't shoot her. I can tell by the way you talk to Jess. You, you have a daughter, don't you? Stop talking. Think of her, and you'll understand what I'm- I said shut up! Listen, you've got to calm down. You are going to make your condition worse. It's not my condition you should be worried about. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I was out of line. You're damn right. I'm sorry. I just... Please. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I won't mention it again. Please. Hey, um, I, I drank like four diet sodas earlier and I really have to pee like super bad. Go. Hurry.
by yourself. Over. Hey, hi. Um, this is Jessica Harding. Me and my dad were supposed to have been rescued, but there's this woman with a gun. I, I think she's taking us up north. Okay, can you describe your location? Any buildings, roads, landmarks? Uh, landmarks. Ugh. No, not really. Just regular jungle crap, like trees and dirt and stuff. Everything looks the same out here. Oh, but my dad built a fire? You might be able to see the smoke if... Yo! What do you think you're doing? Um, I'm just calling my boyfriend? Hey, Snowbeetle! Please, this is my fault. I don't want to kill you, but I will do it in a heartbeat if I have to, comprende? What I have to lose is too important. Let's go. We're getting out of here. Hello? What happened? Is that them? Is that the Hardings? Yeah, it was the girl. It didn't sound good down there. The girl said they were headed north. Let's head that way and see what we can find. I don't know, Yoder. Maybe that girl was in shock, you know? I read a study hey, once Captain, said... Do me a favor and stop talking. Just head north. Hang on to your butt. This is it. See anything, Oscar? Looks familiar. How's that exactly? Before your time. No sign of them there. No sign of them, just trees. That girl say anything to you about a cliff? No, but she did say they were going north. They could have been heading for the coast. That smoke. Think they're trying to signal us? I thought we were dealing with a hostage situation. What was that? Oh, head this way! Morgan oh, Chopper? Why the hell would they do that? Hang on! Yeah. Hold on! I need to engage the autopilot before we lose too much altitude! Finally. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to take over for a while. That'll do it for our flight. We know you have a great many choices when flying through dinosaur-infested airspace, and we thank you for choosing Yoder Airways. Where are we? Out. Oh, man. InGen's gonna be pissed when they get the bill for this. And then they should have gotten pterodactyl insurance. Tyrannodon insurance. Huh? Can you fix it? Uh, yeah. Give me about a month. You got an hour. There's duct tape in the survival kit. These jungles seem different. Different from what? All jungles kind of look the same to me. Hey, you remember the... Hey, hold on. Thought I heard something. We'll be our survivors. Maybe. But we're still pretty far away from where you spotted the fire. And whatever it was, it's gone now. Let's move out. I smell smoke. Check it out. Close. Come on. Hold up. We may not be safe. I know. That's what I have this for. You realize we're headed straight towards a cliff? Don't you? There's no way down from here. We're gonna have to find another way around, which will take us, I don't know, at least a half a day. There's an old goat path that will take us down. What the? Oh, wow. How can you tell me about any rides like this, Dad? I did tell you that there'd be a lot more for you to see next time you visited. These rides aren't even online yet. That path 
was ancient, carved into the stone. It survived storms, earthquakes. Look, it's it's too late to go around, and it's too dangerous to go back the way we came. Just use the radio. Contact the rescue team. It is our best chance of survival. Down there, we can ride this contraption to get us down to that exit. We're gonna ride it? That lever. It looks like it would set the tracks to stop at that exit. Yes, but that's the emergency lever. Besides, it's obviously not ready for people to use. Well, it looks like the only way. You find us a safe way down, or I'll throw you down. If I can get the power on, I might be able to set the, the ride to maintenance mode from up here. What's maintenance mode? It'll switch the tracks, same as the emergency lever. Basically, it lets the employees use the tracks for work and repairs instead of for fun. But I don't see any cars on the main track, Dad. Get the power on. We're still going? Yeah, it's getting dark. We cannot go back the way we came, and it sounds like the dinosaurs are getting ready to hunt. Are they hunting us? Well, they're still a good ways off, but we shouldn't stick around here for long. Listen, if we're going to make it to the coast, we're going to have to work together to make it there alive. Understood? You, come with me. We're going to get some cars on the track. Stand by the lever. You're gonna help me get the cars on the track. Hey, Dad! What are these cars for? They don't have any seats. My guess is those are utility carts. We gotta get them off the track and load in some cars we can actually sit in. Move the scaffolding. How am I supposed to do that? It's like way too heavy. Let's go! We need that scaffolding off the track. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's going anywhere unless you're way stronger than you look. Just push it! I can't! You push it! No way I'm moving it by hand. That's how they pick cars. Okay, these these are the main controls for the roller coaster. I should be able to set it to maintenance mode from here. So to get the ride started, we need three cars on the loading track in the right order. You stay there. Your daughter and I will get the cars back on the rails. Power's still out. You can't go any further until we get it back on. Huh. What are we missing here? Judging by the layout of this place, I'd say the power station must be over in that area. Stay there. You go. Okay, so, like, what am I looking for? Power station. Look for doors. Yeah, because Jurassic Park is all about safety. Throw the main switch. The doors are locked. Well, I don't have a key. That's cool. I'll just bust the windows. This should get me into those doors. Awesome! Okay, I, I can reach inside, but... What am I looking for? Jess, there are two large switches inside, but you probably won't be able to reach them like that. Hey, looks like the crane is functional. Good. Now do something useful with it. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying.
trying to help. You keep that thing away from me. Okay, sorry. Jess, be careful. What are you doing with that hook? I've got a plan. You're gonna love this. Okay, Dad. Your turn. Everyone get back. Awesome. Oscar, definitely signs a camp. The subjects were here. Just need to pick up their trail. I got some blood here. This just keeps getting better. No broken leaves, stems. If they came this way, they didn't leave a trace. No sign of a trail. No broken leaves, nothing. Mm. Looks like someone was picking berries. Hope no one ate any. We got some fresh tracks here, Oscar. I'm guessing dinos. Oh boy. I'll bet that's not gonna go over well with Mom. Oscar, thank God. I thought I was a goner. I told you to be careful. What the hell is that thing, anyway? Whatever it is, I will kill it. Whoa, whoa, calm down, big guy. It's over, it's over. Let it go. Look at it. You won. It's not gonna hurt anyone now. Hey, thanks. Anyway, I looked everywhere. Couldn't find any sign of a trail. That way. Looks like we have power. Whoa, cool. Okay, come on back. What's that? I don't know. Predators. They're still too far away for me to tell which ones, thank goodness. Not a T-Rex though, right? Definitely not a T-Rex. to the scaffolding. We can use the crane to lift it off the tracks. Stand back, Jess. I can't have any more cars on the track. I'll have to move some off first. slot to move the car into. Aha! 
It works. Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. about the rescue team right now. Okay, the cars are properly aligned on the track. We should be ready to start. Better switch on the maintenance track. Well, that ought to do it. The ride should stop and let us out of the maintenance exit, instead of doing the normal loop. Well, that's it. Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Hang on. This is gonna be a short trip. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Uh, Dad? I feel it's new. What are those things? Switch the track!
So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh, yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Danny? Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. It's you 121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Boy, your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Danny's, and it's jammed. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never. Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. M.I.A.? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team, and, 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 and... Billy! Look, we are not leaving without Decaf. I mean, we agreed, right? Oh, man. I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. At ease! We've got a situation here. Inside the chopper. Now! Oscar, I've got no power! I'm on it. Try it now. That battery's not responding. Try another one. Did you see that, Oscar? I don't like when that happens. Pick up the pace! Battery, try it. Yo, 
were a good little thief. You know how to open handcuffs? So who's left? Dr. Sorkin and her assistant. Then we get the hell out of here. What about decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? The gravestones are for the people who died beside him. The skulls are for the people who died because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar, you know, I've seen Oscar knock out someone's teeth for a lot less. When I say teeth, I mean face. Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. No, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers. Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy? This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Speaking of jokes, Oscar, tell the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see it all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, what are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo on my I'm ankle. I'm gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Quiet. Then we'll see hey. how proud you Listen, are of them. There's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Ugh. Bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some... complications. Who are you? Uh, yeah, we're the band. Uh, where can we set up? Excuse me? I'm just kidding. InGen sent us. We're the cavalry come to the rescue. I'm Billy Yoder, and this is- Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the predators. I'm perfectly safe, and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, man. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You are the lady. Hey, can I help? Sure, why the hell not? Well, geez, don't be so excited about it. Yeah, you're right, this is a big deal. I should be throwing a box-moving party. Thanks for coming to rescue us. It's what I do. That and moving people's stuff around. I could use a few good marks in my employee file. It's been a rough year. I know, right? I almost got suspended for skipping class too much. Mom would have killed me. <laughs> well, we all got problems. Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me. If we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charm her. 
All I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past, find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. Are you gonna do any work around here? What, are we union now? <laughs> Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. If you wanna tag along with us, that's cool. Just give Oscar his space. He doesn't do very good with kids. Or adults, or animals. Come to think of it, he doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. How the hell does Dr. Sorkin think we're gonna load all this crap into the chopper? Dunno. But you better do it if you want to get on a good side. Okay. Well, thanks. You've been a great help. Hey, Oscar. Was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big-time protester in the 70s. Lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine-related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. I mean, what was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. Hey, you know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. Hey, Doc, you got a pharmacy inside? It's gonna be a long flight back if we don't get this prisoner either elated or sedated. She seems harmless enough now, and she's adequately secured. Are you afraid she's gonna beat you up? Well, I do have a history of women wanting to get their hands on me. I'm interested in hearing more about her symptoms. Well, like I mentioned before, fever, swelling at the wound, her eyes were jittery. And she was delirious? Yeah, very much so. She seemed to be having flashbacks and kept thinking we were other people. As before, she held us at gunpoint. That is very strange. Yeah, that's why it took us so long to get here. She marched Jess and I into the jungle trying to reach the north coast. Oh, why? I had my reasons. I know that you're angry and scared, and you've got to be exhausted. What's so important to you to go through all this? I'm sorry, I can't tell you. Very well. I'll talk. You listen. I'm here because of the dinosaurs, not for the park, and not for Hammond. Believe me when I say I'm no friend of Injans. Would you mind if I took a look at your wound? Yeah, why not? I've tried talking to her, Dr. Sorkin. It's no use. Well, she'll need medical treatment when she arrives back on the mainland. If she were bitten by a, one of our dinosaurs, a doctor there may not be able to treat her properly. She'll have to start talking to someone. You know, Doc, I saw some bites like that of one of my men back at the visitor center. Mr. Call me Bill. Mr. Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files like we discussed? Yes, ma'am. Sign. What about her patient? I'm fine. I tried to convince her to go with the rescue team, but she refused. Well, I can't say I blame her, but still, you're lucky you weren't eaten alive. She knows the island, too. She didn't need me for that, only to keep us safe from the predators. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Look, Dr. Sorkin, we already caught one unauthorized trespasser. Who knows who else is on the island? Your life may be in danger. I'll take my chances, thank you. you gotta get back, because, uh, you never know the prisoner could have a relapse or something. Highly unlikely. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Huh. You have a point. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. 
please, ma'am, if we don't get you back, I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble. I'll probably lose my job. Well, I don't wish that on anyone, Mr. Yoder, but I'm afraid it can't be helped. I can't abandon these dinosaurs just so you have a job. Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? Well, obviously that's true. If only the board had listened to my proposals. Instead, they just contribute to the paperwork in the file boxes you guys are loading. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. Why have I never seen this? I thought I knew every dino on this island. I wonder what the outside world's gonna think of all this. The government of Costa Rica will certainly have to think twice about InGen's presence here. You're assuming the outside world will ever hear of it. Confidentiality agreements we signed are ironclad, and InGen's lawyers can be awfully intimidating. Trust me, I know. So how did you know to treat her with a tranquil? Fortunately, this isn't the first time I've encountered this. The toxins are derived from the bacteria in its bite, like the Komodo dragon. This dinosaur hunts by biting its victim and stalking it as it waits for it to die. It's much safer for them than a direct confrontation. What kind of dinosaur has a bite like that? Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. So it still hurts? Yes, it still hurts. Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Trust me, there is a very good reason. Well, come back when you think of one. So that girl is your daughter? Yeah, my youngest, Jess. 14. Hard to believe. And her mother? Me. It's for the best. We're both much happier. How is Jess adjusting? grades at school could be better. You've had some problems with shoplifting. She's probably just bored. I was the same way at her age. No, there wasn't much shoplifting to do on the family farm. I, I don't know. I, I try talking to her, but it seems like everything I say is wrong. Keep talking to her anyway. Well, I didn't even want her to come out here, but her mother thought it would do her some good to get away. You know, stay out of trouble. If I'd known this was coming. Beat yourself up. She had a tough time, and she made it through. She'll be stronger for it. She'll certainly learn to appreciate the suburbs, that's for sure. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And Injen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. You gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. I can't tell you how many times I tried convincing him. The park should be a nature preserve. No theme park attractions, no cages. Hammond never really cared about the marvels I created for him. It's always been about the money. Dr. Sorkin. Why do you think interrupting me is going to work this time? Wouldn't this place be better off with some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... Okay, I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Tennis. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding. Perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh, which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. 
if any of them get off the island. Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaur's behavioral program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding. Despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls? Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Well, believe it or not, the dinosaurs told me. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more, the uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. want to move the dinosaurs forward, we might need to give them a good scare from behind. Oh, we can use the danger call. Good thinking. Need a quick reminder about how the speakers work? Yes, please. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more, the amorous dinosaur. Big speakers in the center emit a danger call that will scare the dinos away from it. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side, okay. <laughs> Assistant. Let's not talk about that right now. Did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Do you think they'll really turn this place into a nature preserve after this? Like Mr. Yoder said, that guy was lying through his teeth regarding the board. But it did give me a thought. This is a huge setback for InGen. Maybe Hammond's role as CEO isn't as safe as he thinks. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please.
So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where'd you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in. And sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. That's it! They're out! Good job, Jess. Finally! Go forth and multiply. <laughs> you be good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. This is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Jess. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember the girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? No. 
not so good. Is the water ready? Yep. Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. <sighs> Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Oh, girl, take it easy. What's wrong with that one? Oh, no. Raptors. The old man still has a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? They must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Get down from here and away from these raptors. Now. I know. The important thing is to remain calm. We have time to figure this out. Man, yeah, they're raptors! Look! God, they're trying to bring the tower down! It'll hold. It's got to. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. We need to get off the tower before the raptors bring it down. Emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down outside the pattern. Well, that's a start, but the fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels, right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. How are you holding up, honey? I want to go home. I know, sweetheart. Me too. We'll be fine. I promise. <gasps> Won't budge. Did you try the latch? The latch. Right. Of course. That should free it up. <laughs> it still won't move. It's brand new, so it might still be a little stiff. Maybe if you put more weight on it? What? You mean stand on it? Yes, write it down. Okay, but we should probably be ready to move as soon as it comes down so we can stick together. 
Sweetheart, listen. I want you to be ready to climb down the ladder as soon as it's extended. Okay, Dad. Dr. Sorkin. I'll be right down. That's really stuck. Oh, no, I see the problem. The whole ladder is just slightly bent. It can't slide freely. We might be able to force it. it must have been the crash. Looks that way. I think we're gonna need a crowbar or something to get it open. Oh, well then we're gonna have to get creative because there are no tools up here. Santana could be just the thing we need to pry the ladder open. If I try to grab it now, I could get electrocuted. Dr. Sorkin, that antenna is the only thing up here I've seen that we can use to pry the ladder open. Is there any way to turn the power of those lights off so I can grab it? Not from up here. The aircraft alert beacons aren't ever supposed to be disabled. The best I can do is make them flash on and off. How? I can switch them from nighttime to daytime operation. They shine continuously at night, but during the day they flash to provide more contrast. Okay, I've switched the beacon lights to daytime mode. Hopefully that wire won't be live while the lights flash off. <clears throat> Got it. If I couldn't move it by jumping on it, I'm never gonna be able to pry it by myself. Dr. Sorkin? Yes? Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, I'm ready. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry! Okay, Dr. Sorkin, on three. Ready? One, two, three! Uh, you've got to be freaking kidding me! Dad, what are we going to do? Try again. On three. Ready? One, two... No, Jess, wait! No! I'm fine, Dad! Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. Right, I'm coming down. Help me! Dr. Sorkin, you have to hurry! Out of the way, I'm gonna jump for it! Okay, now up and over. I'm okay. Run, Dr. Sorkin! Oh, they're right behind me! Like this, there better be tequila involved. No way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier, anyway. <laughs> so, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for Injin. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. And make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Damn it, I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chamber. Could have killed someone. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook off was a hell of a show. I'm gonna take more than an auxiliary power unit to fix her this time. Better keep checking her out. If she's gonna blow, we don't want to be anywhere nearby. Damn it. All our weapons were in there. I was just getting used to that AK, too. Looking 
pretty safe. One more look, just to be sure. <sighs> no fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. That chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Should be safe to make camp here. I should see if the girl's okay. Oscar might want to talk to her when she wakes up. Let's postpone that little reunion. Wow, Barbasol. I have a can just like this back in San Jose. Oh, man. I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. Something sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. Wonder. <laughs> a lady has a secret stash. What the hell is it? Pants. The chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her back. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? You gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job. Dios mío, they open doors.
Dios mío. Oh, my mother. Leave me alone. Idiotas. like I was only out for a little while. The embryo should be okay for now. At least one of them pulled me out of there. Not sure I'd do the same. Where's the cane? Nieta, no, no, no! Looking for this? That's mine! You know, this takes me back. I learned to shave with this stuff. Give it back! Now! I'm all out of shaving cream myself. You mind if I borrow some? Stop shaking it! But you're supposed to shake it before you use it. Says so right on the can. You want to tell me what's so important about shaving cream? Or do I ask Inja? Give it back right now, or else! Maybe you're in that tree for a reason. Your bodyguard isn't here right now, is he? Why don't you come down and we'll see who wants that can the most? Well, that's cute. But kicking your butt won't do me any good if some damn dinosaur gets the drop on us. It was my lovers. He died fighting for the revolution in Chile. It's all I have of him. Please give it back. Oh, that is so sweet. So, let me get this straight. Your Marxist revolutionary boyfriend made it a top priority to keep his face silky smooth. He must have been a very sensitive guy. I ain't stupid, lady. You want to try again? Embryos. They're dinosaur embryos. If you drop them, they'll be destroyed. Look, Yoder. Silly, right? Maybe we can make a deal. This ought to be good. Shoot. There's a lot of money in it for you if I get those embryos to my contact before they go bad. Those embryos are worth over a million. That's U.S. dollars. I have a buyer. I just need you to take us there, and we'll both be rich. Oh, yeah, right. Like, InGen isn't gonna shine a light on an independent contractor like me when they figure out the crown jewels are missing. No sale. How much does InGen pay you to risk your life? How long before they replace you after you lose a leg or break your back? and can no longer jump out of helicopters for hey, them. Don't you worry about it. I get paid plenty to do what I do. Come on, think! Your chopper's gone, you're separated. Do you really want to spend all your time watching me? We could work together. I ain't scared of you. I know. But... You make a point. Okay. Keep talking. Please! I don't expect you to trust me. But the right thing to do is to give it back to me and let me go. One mercenary to another. Would you do any different in my place? Everyone can win here. Let your friends save those people while we sell the embryos. Look, lady, we both have jobs to do. Thing is, in this situation, I'm the cop and you're the robber. Injun stole this land from my people. We located them at some point. Do you know what you get when you take a tribe out of the jungle? Poverty! Unrelenting, crushing poverty with no way to escape. You really want to support a company that would do that? You're not the only one who's had a rough life, lady. InGen may have screwed you, but they pay my bills. And besides, from what I hear, they rented this place from the Costa Rican government. Why don't you take it up with them? I have a daughter. I need the money to get her out of the ghetto. You know what happens to girls there. She doesn't deserve that life. Are you for real? You turn that over to Injen. You get a pat on the back. Maybe a little Christmas bonus. You leave it to me, you become a rich man. Pay off your debts, quit your job. No more guys in suits telling you what to do. Just think about it. Come on, Billy. The money's good. And you'll be helping me save my daughter. Everybody gets a little something. Okay, here's the deal. One, I'm in charge. I keep the embryos. And as soon as it's safe to break away, we'll deliver them to your contact. I don't know if the embryos will last in there much longer. That's a risk we're gonna take. Two, we're cutting Oscar in. Why? Because he's my partner, that's why. 
It'll be fine. Trust me. Now sit tight and lighten up. Not every woman gets to enjoy the sunset on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. So, any idea where we are in relation to the rest of the park? We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Can we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right then, lead the way. I want to get us out of here as soon as possible. No more science projects, okay? I understand. Well, as long as we're getting no one another, how is it that Dr. Wu became chief geneticist over you? That's an easy one. Frogs. You're saying frogs kept you from getting promoted? Specifically, their DNA. Before we could clone any dinosaurs, we had to decide how to fill in the gaps in the DNA sequences we found. I remember this from a tour. You found dino blood inside mosquito fossils, right? That's right. I wanted a complete prehistoric genome, cross-referencing all of the DNA found in the various amber samples. It would have been safer, but would have taken time the board of directors didn't want to spend. Well, even Dr. Hammond's spare-no-expense philosophy has limits, I guess. Exactly. Henry, Dr. Wu, proposed using frog DNA to fill in the gaps. It was risky. We still don't know all of the effects. But it was a solution, and a fast one at that. So Henry became chief geneticist, and I took to the field. So Laura, I've been meaning to ask you, why don't you do your radio show anymore? You had a radio show? Well, it wasn't really radio. I'd hack into the park intercom and play choice cuts from my record collection. Lately, I haven't had the time. Did you really have to show Artie Bridges how to do it? Believe me, I regret it. But how was I to know how bad he was? He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He's awful. He certainly is. I guess there was a reason it was just a dream. He actually records his show ahead of time so that he can broadcast during work hours. Did you guys hear that? Sounded like a rat. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs aren't the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. Don't worry, Jess. We should be safe in here. Where do all these doors lead? The maintenance corridors. The park's essential systems are in there. Uh, electrical, water, air conditioning, you know, that sort of thing. The tunnels on this side are for transporting animals, personnel, and food. That's why they're so big. They are separate from the maintenance side to prevent accidents. Are you sure we shouldn't head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. Has anyone seen my cigarettes? I could swear I had some. I didn't realize you smoked. Normally I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. Where did you last have them? here in my pocket, or so I thought. Maybe he fell out when we jumped in the water tower? I suppose. Oh well, I'm probably better off without them. Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. I suppose we could all use a break. I don't know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive. Oscar's fine. He's coming back. And come hell or high water, we are not leaving. Then again, maybe you have a point. Come on, we gotta run! No time! Hide!
Four. supplement? No thanks. But you know what? Actually, you know what? I, maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The lysine contingency... You're insane! Denying the dinosaurs lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem! Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. Yes, the ocean provides a natural barrier, but how can you guarantee InGen won't move some of these dinosaurs to a less isolated place? Look, I'll tell InGen all about this when we get off the island. They can make an informed decision about if and where they want to move any dinosaurs. Tell me this. Did you reverse the lysine contingency with the Pteranodons? No. My formula targets superorder dinosauria exclusively. If I tried to account for the Pteranodons, I might have affected other reptiles. Oh, at least there's that. Now that I think about it, though, targeting only Pteranodons, or any one species, would be a simple change. I wouldn't even need a full lab. Am I gonna have to ask Jess to follow you into the ladies' room? It won't come to that. If I decide to do it, I won't sneak around, and I won't involve you. I'm sorry if the way I went about it last time upset you. Well, thanks for the apology, I guess, but this isn't about me. Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. It's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None! You see them in the field every day. Have you ever even seen one of our dinosaurs try to swim? We keep them in cages, Laura. They don't get the chance. I know this. More quadrupeds can swim than can't. All right. I'll concede that it's possible there are sauropods that can swim. But I still believe that 120 miles of open water is an effective barrier. All right. Supposing there's a dinosaur that can swim. I find it highly unlikely that one could make it through 120 miles of open water, through ocean currents, sharks... Highly unlikely? 20 years ago, would you ever have predicted dinosaur cloning? Ever? 20 days ago, would you have predicted a complete failure of all our park security? Is what I fear that hard to imagine? No, I suppose not. The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland? is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. I don't want to see these animals die. I really don't. But we all agreed to the Lysine contingency. It was a prerequisite to working here. For you, maybe. But you have to remember, Jerry, I was here before there even was a Lysine contingency. Henry Wu came up with the Lysine contingency, and let's not mince words, it's a kill switch, as part of his bid for the top spot. I couldn't stop it, but I never agreed to it, not even for a second. You're still here. Let's see. Continue my life's work, or let other people corrupt it, profit by it, and completely prevent me from even talking about it. Does that sound like a choice to you? No. I guess not. No matter the circumstance, you can't possibly believe it's okay to eradicate an entire species, let alone whole groups of them, regardless of how they came to be here. No one has that right. Even if every dinosaur on the island were to die, Site B is still active. We could clone them again. What you did was reckless. I'm sorry, Jerry, but that's naive. Do you have any idea how expensive it is to clone even one dinosaur? The board won't let Hammond throw money at a pipe dream. 
Well, normally I'd agree with you. No one has the right to kill an entire species, but surely you recognize that this is a special case. We are responsible. Yes, we are responsible. Not just for our own welfare, but for the animals as well. I, I don't know, Laura. I, I, I don't know. I need to process this. I I'm gonna have to tell InGen. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just down the hall looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was gone. I'm sorry, honey, I was distracted, but don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah, okay. moves out there like a ballet dancer or something uh thanks damn you're lucky you ought to forget our deal and buy a lottery ticket the embryos yeah yeah relax i uh i um you lost it you lost it it must have fallen out Notice it wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You find it. Hold your horses. That T Rex is still out there. you let fall out of your pocket sorry i guess i was a little preoccupied with a giant prehistoric people eater breathing down my neck okay 
so we know where it is. Go get it! Yeah, I think I'll wait until our friend there leaves to find a new chew toy. I don't know if we have time. If the embryos go bad, they're worthless! The embryos are worthless to me if I get eaten by a damn lizard. If you're not man enough to get the embryos back, I'll do it myself. Hang on. The deal is, I hold on to the embryos until we reach your contact. I know! And instead, you drop them! Yeah, well, crap. If you're gonna use logic. Just go! And hurry! Darling, you know what brings a nice girl like you to a place like this? I got it. Somebody tell Carl Lewis I got some training tips for him. Okay, great. Nice moves out there. Hey, thanks. Almost makes up for dropping it in the first place. Probably a rat or something. Keep moving. No, I saw eyes just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too? Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Ugh. Okay, we can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. There's really no way you'll just keep walking? You wouldn't ask me that if you knew what it was like to be bitten by one of those things! Hey, I've seen the results. I'm just not a chicken. I would rather be a chicken than a fool. My ex used to clean like crazy whenever she got mad. Sometimes I'd pick a fight just to get my apartment cleaned. Your ex? You were married? Oh, hell no. Ex-girlfriend. All right. Now we know where to turn off the water when folks take showers around here. <laughs> you ever do that? Turn off the water when someone's in the shower? It's pure gold, I tell you. I'd love to try that. If I ever turn 12 again. We're in luck. This looks like a power panel right here. What's the holdup? It's nothing, it's just a different, uh, model than I'm used to, is all. So, you're stuck. 
You know anything at all about electrical systems? Nada. This can't be much harder than disarming a burglar alarm. What do you know about disarming burglar alarms? Did I say disarming? I meant installing. I had a job doing that once. Watching the master at work? I just want to make sure you don't screw up. You said you didn't know anything about electricity. Yeah, but do you? Why don't you just read the instructions? They're right there, no? Relax. This thing is just a glorified fuse box. Push to close. Close what? Well, that was my best guess. What about that thing there? Maybe you have to prime it before turning it on, like an oil pump or something. <laughs> Look, no offense, but this type of electrical system is probably way ahead of anything you've seen before. I got this. Nothing happened. Why didn't something happen? All right, I got it now. Close your eyes, you're about to lose your... Night vision. What's going on? Dad? Over here, Jess. It's all right. The backup generator wasn't meant to last this long, that's all. No, that's not it. We should have been fine for days. How the hell was I supposed to know open meant turn everything off? I mean, it's counterintuitive. You would know if you read the instructions. Why don't you yell a little louder? I think there's a dinosaur on the other side of the island that didn't hear you. Jeez. Whatever. There's a close, right? There's a close, right? <laughs> close that crap right up. Yeah, that's right. Who's your... Oh, oh, come on! He's not still here, is he? No. From the sound of it, he queued up this last bit of tape and took off. So, here's a little start. Ready to set sail. This show is over. Laura, you are my new favorite person. <laughs> You've forgiven me for fixing the lysine problem? Don't push it. Holy crap, Oscar. Did you just take one of those things out by hand? You're supposed to be at the crash site. Yeah, uh, the plan didn't factor in an angry T-Rex, so we had to change it. I didn't think to engage it in a knife fight, sorry. We had to change the plan. That's right. I unlocked the mystery behind the shaving cream can. Turns out, little Miss Sunshine here is smuggling dino embryos off the island. What? I don't buy it. 
You don't have the skills to pull off a heist like that. She knows her business, Oscar. You said the same thing about that waitress in Bogota's cooking. That wasn't her fault. That was Seminilla. They're real. My client had someone on the inside, a man named Nedry. He didn't show, so they sent me to find the embryos on the backup plan. Well? Squares with what I know. They're searching San Jose for this Nedry guy. Thought he was on the last boat. They can stop the search. He's dino food. Let me guess. You have a plan. Yeah, well, turns out these things are worth a lot of money to the right people. I mean, a lot. You're pretty self-righteous for a thief. I wouldn't be a thief if you hadn't stolen this island from my people in the first place. I didn't steal anything. The Costa Rican government rented this place to InGen. And you did their dirty work, didn't you? I did my job. Just like I'm doing now. Really? And how many people are you going to kill today? Shut the hell up, or I'll start counting with you. Whoa, whoa, no fighting. Save it for the dinos, huh? You going along with her? Hey, I'm not doing anything unless you're down, but come on, Oscar. Do you really think InGen gives a rat's ass about us? Look what happened to B-Team, to Decaf. Their families are gonna get a puny check, a gag order, and nothing else. Do I gotta remind you we're working against the clock? There's no time to save these people and be her errand boys before this place turns to ground zero. You mean ground zero? Nothing. We could do it, Oscar. We've got a call for another helicopter anyway, so one of us takes the eggheads back to the mainland and the other takes her to meet her contact. Let me guess. That last part would be up to you. You just tell Injian that I bought it like the rest of the guys they sent. Then you and I hook up later to split our cut. I trust you, but I don't trust her. I don't know, Billy. Injen throws a lot of work our way. Not sure I want to burn that bridge. I understand, but we're talking about a retirement level payout here. Look, you don't have to decide now. Plenty of time before we call for another chopper. All right, let's move out. Take it slow and quiet. Let's not start this again. I respect your opinion, Jerry. Although, to be honest, I'm a little surprised at your lack of regard for the animals. It's not that I don't care about them, Laura. It's just there are so many unintended consequences that come with your decision. We can't keep this a secret, Laura. Shit. We need contingency plans. We'll need to monitor things outside of the park. Where is it? I know it. <laughs> yes. I've never seen them afraid before. You're getting good at this, Jess. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. That was awesome! Uh, no problem. Okay, hon. Let the man breathe. Yoder! You're alive! We're alive? I'm surprised you guys lasted five minutes without me and Oscar. Thank you. 
Forget it. Oh my god, you're bleeding. Are you okay? No worries. Belongs to one of them. You killed one of them? With a knife? That's so badass. Well, hey, I outran a T-Rex. It's nothing. Just another fight. Are you gonna get a tattoo of a raptor now? I totally would. Hmm. Not a bad idea. You aren't fooling me. What now? You can pretend to be a hero all you want, but we both know what you really are. You're right. We do. Everyone, we have a problem. It's just Steam. Yeah, I don't think Steam can, you know, eat us or anything. You've seen the flickering lights, now the steam eruptions. Something's gone wrong with the island's geothermal power plant. That's not our problem. When the power plant explodes, it will be. It's that bad? Everything I've read about the system says it's supposed to shut itself down if something goes wrong with the steam pressure. The fact that it hasn't means that the pressure will build unchecked. It'll pop like a balloon and take half the island with it. Are you sure the power plant is the problem? It's the steam that clinches it for me, Jerry. The power could fail for a lot of reasons, but the steam comes straight from the power plant. Well, I guess spare no expense didn't apply to the island's largest potential safety risk. The plan itself was well designed. It's the procedure that's flawed. As I recall, only two or three people on the island were trained to safely operate the main power controls. So, turning the power off and on requires special training? Illegal. Can we get to the power plant from here? I'm completely turned around. Yes, I've been here before. It's down this way. We really ought to get moving. How can we stop the power plant from exploding? We have to do something, and quickly, but I won't know exactly what until we get there. No time. Say goodbye to your dinosaurs, Doc. You can dig up the fossils later. When the power plant explodes, it'll take us with it. Unless you have a spare helicopter ready to lift off. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Listen up. You're gonna show me the corridor that goes to the power plant. I'm gonna scout ahead and make sure there's no dinosaur party happening when we get there. Can I come? I know I can help. You're staying right here where I can keep an eye on you. Hey, I saved you, remember? Besides, those things are afraid of him. You wandered off, Jess. Oscar doesn't mind, do you? Oscar? Hmm. <laughs> you outran a T-Rex, huh, Yoder? I sure did. You know, not everyone has the training to pull something like that off, let alone the raw speed. I know, right? That's what I thought when I outran her yesterday. When I saw the helicopter crash into the jungle, I thought you guys were goners. We're fine. Hey, uh, about before, the hostage thing? I'm sorry. I was only trying to protect myself. Me and the mercs, we worked it out. Worked it out? How? Don't worry about it. We're okay. For now. That's great! So everyone's friends now, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that. Then how would you... Oh, no way! Did you guys make out? We've decided that we can all work together. Let's put it that way. Hey, Oscar's back. What'd you find, buddy? Always clear that the door to the plant is locked. Don't that just figure? Either of you got a key? I'm afraid not. How about a smoke? I wish. I swore I had some on me, but... Jess? Something to share? I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to borrow them. But, but then a dinosaur was there, and I threw them, and I think it ate them. Jessica Marie Harding! First, you get caught stealing a t-shirt from the mall. Then you steal binoculars from the park and lie about it to my face. Now you've taken Laura's cigarettes? You let the raptors get to us because you wanted to smoke? I, I was all nervous and, and anxious and stuff, and I thought it would help. That's not the point. It's not just the smoking, it's, it's stealing. It's not listening. Rem Remember, the main reason you're on this island is because your mother thinks I might be able to straighten you out. Somehow. Right. Not because you want to see me or anything. Look, you don't have to worry about me, Dad. I'm almost 15. I can take care of myself. I don't need you or Mom or anyone. Oh, honey, I know it feels like that. Especially at your age, but you're not an adult. You might be a young woman, uh, uh, physically, but emotional maturity uh, Don't, takes time. Okay? I'm sorry, Dad, but how many times have you been married? Your kids. Have you even talked to Sarah lately? This year, even? 
Should you be lecturing anyone about emotional maturity? Damn, burn. Uh, plant's gonna blow, right? We ain't got time for this after-school special crap. Point is still valid. You're a 14 year old kid, not an adult. So lame. You and Mom tell me what to do and then it's locked, all right. Thanks for double checking. Me like you're going out of your way to do the opposite. Me now, but like it doesn't matter what I do. Even before I started getting in trouble, Mom was crazy. Over Any suggestions, Mr. Yoder? Nope. All right. I'll go ask an adult. So. What are our options? No way we can break it down. Too secure. Got no guns, no explosives. You tell me. Yeah, well, you know what? I can't bail you out if you get us eaten by dinosaurs. Don't leave my sight until we're off the island. Aren't even listening to me? Situations like this make me glad I never had kids. I haven't seen my daughter in almost six months. Oh. That vent. It may lead to the other side of the door. I hate to break it to you, Doc, but ain't none of us fitting through there. Maybe. We both know that'll be worse for you than it is for me. I'm already grounded for life, so it doesn't matter if you rat me out for smoking. It's a filthy habit, Jess. It can kill you. You sound like a public service announcement. I sound Jerry, like a parent please? with a child who uh, needs work? a refresher on right and wrong, despite what she says. I'm not a child. They weren't even my brand. I don't know why I bothered. Oh, you have a brand. A brand? Jerry, Are you please. kidding me? How long has this I been going really on? I need to speak Since with you. Since sometime after you left. Look, Dad, I almost died today. Like, more than once. Can't you cut me some slack? Slack? So I should just let my 14-year-old daughter smoke? Oh, like hell. You're not leaving my sight until we are off this island. Or what? You gonna handcuff me? Maybe get out the trank gun? If that's what it takes, yes. Until I can trust you not to put us in danger again, I want you where I can see you. I did a lot to help us stay alive out here, remember? You promised me you would stop stealing, Jess. I just wanted one cigarette. I was going to give them back. It's not like I could just ask for one. You wouldn't have to ask for one if you didn't pick up the habit. All right, enough! I apologize, I'm sorry. Jess, we will finish this later. How can I help? We have a situation. The only way around the door to the power plant is that vent. And Jess is the only one of us who might fit inside. Absolutely not. My daughter has clearly shown that she can't be trusted with her own safety. She doesn't leave my sight from now on. We're just gonna have to find another salute. Jess? Jesse? Jess? It's okay. Pretty sure the dinosaurs haven't been using that vent. What vent? What... What dinosaurs? Oh my god. Jess! Well done, Jess. Thanks. Okay, listen up. We need to release the steam pressure to prevent any more buildup. What are we looking for? A power console. And probably a master release valve. Look, Dad, I'm sorry. I was just trying to... You were just trying to ignore everything I said! Now just stay where I can see you this time. Okay. I will. I mean it. Sorry. Look at all those transformers. The plant produces enough power to run a small city. See that large valve wheel up there? I think that's the pressure release we're looking for. I'll handle it. Wait until I turn the power off to release the pressure. Otherwise, the system won't properly reset. Got it. That looks like the power console. Up there, at the top of the ladder. Yeah, they're gonna have to update that sign. Not your brand, eh? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I was desperate. I understand. All too well, I'm afraid. Especially right now. 
But hey, maybe this disaster is just the push I need to quit. Really? Hell no. I'm so hooked I could smoke a velociraptor. I don't want to moralize, but get out if you still can. Are you gonna go into withdrawal or something? Huh. Already there. Hey, do you have my lighter or did the raptor eat that too? We can't pump the capacitor until the steam is vented. Too risky. All right. Looks like we press to open the circuit in order to turn the power off. Here goes nothing. Press to open. That does make sense. It does now. We don't want to close the circuit without charging the capacitor first. We need to vent the steam before we turn the power on. No good. I'm gonna need some help. Could you guys give me a hand with this valve? It won't budge. Sure. We open pickle jars, too. Okay, on three. One, two, three! Stop! Stop! We got this! Oh, I mean stop! It shouldn't take that much force to turn the valve. There must be some kind of motorized assist for it. If you force it, you could break something. I'll have a look. If there is a motor, you'll need to disconnect it before it'll turn manually. I'm glad that lava flow is so far below us. Any closer and the heat would be unbearable. That compartment there. That could house the motor we're looking for. I'll check it out. tools don't need any it's just a latch that's handy I guess the need to yank that thing out in a hurry was anticipated I got it perfect let's try it again Invented. All we need now is to turn the power back on. You, uh, need any help? I'm quite capable, thank you. One. Two. Three. Four. Is that the... It's the press to close light. It means the charge is pumped. Right. I'm going to close the circuit and turn the power back on. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I think you'll find we have nothing to worry about. What's happening? Laura? Nothing to worry about, huh? It's all right, everyone. It's just a fail-safe measure to protect the plant. We probably set it off when we disconnected the motor or something else. Everything is just fine. If you say so. Raptors! 
Run for the ladder, Nima, before they can cut you off. I'm trying. Controls. They're completely fried. Thank you. Can these doors be open manually? I'm afraid not. The only way we can get them open is by using the controls by the doors where we came in. I'm on it. No! No way! That's suicide! He's right. The raptors wouldn't have come back if they were still afraid of you. I'll just have to give them a new reason to be scared then. Can we at least talk about this? You know damn well I'm the only one's got a chance to get to that control panel. Maybe, but who says you have to go alone? I do. Look, Billy, we gotta get these people out of here. I figure they got no chance with both of us gone. Crap. Okay, I want everyone to hang tight while I figure this out. You're going to be fine. What's the plan? Working on it. I'll let you know. Right ideas? I've made jumps that wide before. Get down that way. All right. I want you to tempt those raptors by creeping down the ladder. Oh, okay. Before, I thought you were nuts, but that sounds like a great plan. You got something better? You can always throw the doctor lady down there. That would distract me. Don't go. You could die. Don't count me out yet. Diversion, will ya? Couple of seconds at least. Got it. Hey, thanks. man has skills. I thought you hated him. But I respect his ability. If anyone can do this, he can. Oscar! Company! Hey! Hey, hey, check this out, huh? Nice, tasty drumstick! Slow, you dumb lizard! Actually... That's it. Just keep focused on Billy. Come on, Oscar! Come on, Oscar! 
Oscar, get up, get up! Sorry for your loss, but we have to get out of here. That was their fear response. Something about this place scares them. But even if they weren't scared, you look ready to hold them off. Thanks. I'm glad I didn't have to. Are you okay, Billy? What the hell do you think? What Oscar did was very brave. When we get back, we're gonna make sure he is duly recognized for his- You think I care about that crap? I'll just give him some space. Five minutes. Just, just give me five minutes and I'll be fine. I know what you people think of us. Bunch of blue-collar grunts, right? Bunch of high school dropouts. We're replaceable. We don't think that. We don't. Tell him. Oscar was worth a thousand of you. He knew it. And he still died to save your ass. So don't tell me how you're gonna honor him. You don't deserve okay, to. Okay. What can we do? Nothing. I said I'll be fine, remember? All I need is space. I know we've got a lot on our minds, but whatever spooked those raptors might be nearby. Laura's right. I need everyone to be alert while she and I search the room. What is that? Hey, it smells like the jungle. Only more rotten. <laughs> Jess, you don't want to see this. Nima, could you... Yeah. Come with me, Jess. Try not to look, okay? This guy's dressed a lot like you, Billy. Does he have a tattoo on his arm? Like mine? Yes, yes he does. a nest. I thought the structure looked like the nest of a cassowary, maybe an emu, but without eggs I couldn't be sure. Yes, but, but they're inside him. If you'd asked me five minutes ago, I'd have told you such behavior didn't exist outside of class and secta, but Whoa. now... He's a human being! I I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. For bite marks. Bite marks? Yes, yes, they look just like... Just like the ones Nima had, I know. He's alive, but only technically. He's paralyzed and almost certainly brain dead. This is the Venom's final stage. What the hell's going on over there? Is he alive or not? He's alive. 
but in a comatose state. Something has laid eggs in his abdomen. Something what? The victim was being kept alive by... Decaf! I'm sorry? The victim is Daniel Kafaro. Another throwaway grunt. Oh my god. I knew they'd gotten out somehow, but I never thought... You knew about this? You knew? Ugh, I'll kill you! What's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine, for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pie. Billy, wait! We were being killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar is dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Oscar doesn't want this. He died helping us all survive. He wouldn't want her dead. Had he known, though? Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner... Ah, I... shut it. Billy, listen, I get it. You're angry, but we need Laura alive. She's the only one here familiar with what we're dealing with. And what good does it do us if she keeps that intel to herself? Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner... Ah, I... shut it. What kind of soldier are you? You think about only the danger that you deal with, but we are all in this together. We can be in this without her endangering our every move. Is that what this is all about? She put you in danger? You're acting out of vendetta here? Oh, don't turn this around on me. I'm doing this for Decaf and Vargas. What, what, what is all this? She's a liar. How can you deny that? Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! You don't want to be the bad guy here, but that's where you're heading. You don't want to go down that road, right? Oh, come on! This isn't on me! It's time for her to take responsibility! You are the bad guy. I saw that Oscar had changed his ways, but you become everything I thought he was, and you are about to add murderer to that list. That's just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen. And now we're all suffering for it. Injun is the enemy here. They spoiled the island. They made these monsters. You can't make her pay for all that Injun has done. Maybe. Put down the knife. We need to work together, all of us. Still! Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's... it's m my fault. There. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here, but at least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got her. <sighs> you just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got to tend to decaf. Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay, we'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done, agreed? Jess, stay close to me, okay? I'll keep you safe. Dad? That's a good idea, hon.
don't see anything. Maybe it's clear. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. I hate being trapped on here like a rat. Heavy, though. Jess, stay away from the vents. No more sneaking off, understand? I'm not going anywhere, Dad. Locked. A flare kit. This might come in handy. I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! Nima, what can you remember about that animal that bit you? I didn't see it when it attacked. It went by so fast. It was dark. After it bit me, I became confused, like, like I'd been drugged. I remember there were many of them. They had glowing eyes. Glowing eyes? Yeah, like ojos del lobo. These Trodon, what else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent, like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with the toxin. Nima's bite. It was from a Trodon? Yes, definitely. Are you okay? Jess, Hun, leave him alone. To cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. So if this whole trip was like set up to scare me away from shoplifting, mission accomplished. What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how, but I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. This tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. I don't understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. And how do they lay eggs? Theropod shed eggs just like most other ova um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating, but these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, are you ready? This is not the time for grieving. We have to move. Maybe we should... She's right.
Billy, did you find something? Nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport him. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bye guys, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Coming through the vent! Here. 
Oh no. Which way, Laura? I don't know where we are anymore. We, we need to head towards the north. The desalination plant. That's where the marine exhibit is. Look, follow the red thunder. Laura? I don't know, Jerry. We must be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I, I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. Look down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. Jess, where are you? I'm at the workbench. Oh, sorry. It's so dark. Just don't wander off, okay? Wander off into the dinosaur-infested pitch-black tunnels? I think I can resist that temptation. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. There's a ladder on the right, and on the far wall at the end. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Hey, Chica. You still cool? Why don't you come over here and find out, Yoder? Yeah. I know that trick. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. There's a set of water tanks partway down the corridor on the right. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. Good. If I were up above the ground, I could tell you where we were. If we can figure out where we are, we can get to practically any part of the park from these tunnels. They're all interconnected. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay. Here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water lanes and junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route.
behind me. Monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoda is with them. Oh, God. We're going to join them again. That is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? Uh, it must be to the north. Near the outlet of the river. Big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family. Everyone. My whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. What does your name mean? It means little fish. You know, like uh, the ones that have so many colors. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But... When Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression, so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit, so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. Spared no expense. Hammond, the man who made all this, he runs Injun. It's something he always says. He'll spend whatever it takes to make the park a success. So, he spent it all on the dinosaurs. Not on my people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. I'm sure it was a very difficult time for your father. I know he wanted what was best for our people. He was too trusting. They took advantage of him. He sounds like a brave man. Were you too close? When we were on the island, yes. We were always together. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. 
He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. What is Sibo? That mountain there. It is like a house, my father said. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before Injin, when my father and I would go to the ocean to fish, when I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima, little fish, little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injin came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. You remind me of Jess. I mean, that's how it used to be with us before the divorce. I'd take her to the museums or to the zoo. She'd always climb up onto things, you know, such a climber. She can't not climb over things, into things. Climbed into a tiger pen once. <laughs> with a live tiger. But not anymore? No. Things haven't been the same since the divorce. Do you still blame him for everything? No, I have forgiven him. I know to blame Injun now. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my Mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher, and at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes, it's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I will take her after this job. That's a good strong name. And a good city. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be and refuse the fisher's bait. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. Just changed my life too. Choose my second, second wife, second daughter. Apparently I'm the genetic carrier of rebellion because both my daughters got it. I worked so hard to protect Jess and keep her out of trouble. What about you? Did you turn out so good because your parents kept you out of trouble? Me? I was a little hellion myself. Uncontrollable. <laughs> it's in my genes. Mm. Oh, now you know this is different. Still, one thing Jess really hasn't had in her life is a present father figure. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very proud of you. Thank you, Jerry. I... I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew. Nima, look, I... What is it? Nima, I want to trust you. Help me get Jess off this island, and I will do whatever I can to help you and your daughter. I could not hold you to that, Jerry. If we don't get off this island, you might not have to. Please. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. Would you move? 
Look at this. What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatchery what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. That's a lot of fish. How many whales are they feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks could feed three or four orcas per day. Well, you're a fish expert now. I can make an educated guess. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Hold up. Clear. Dad! Jess. Oh, thank God. Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean, Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact Injin and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is going to be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. What? That's right, Doc. We're going to murder one of your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Dios mio. That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! <laughs> what do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait, what is Dr. Sorkin doing? Laura? Wait, what are you... Where is she going? I don't know. It's Rotunda. It's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it! Get that elevator back up here! Oh, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Ah, Paleozoic. From oldest to newest. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. How you holding up, Jess? I can't stop shaking. I'd literally rather be back in jail for shoplifting. I'm just so tired of running, Dad. I know, I know, me too. But we're safe for now. I, I don't want to do this anymore, Dad. Can't we just wait here for another rescue? That's what we're gonna do. But first we have to call for that other rescue. What if it goes just as bad as the first one? Hey, look at me. We'll get through this. What do I always say about the glass of water being half full or half empty, huh? Hey, hey I, ordered I ordered a, a beer. beer. That's my girl. Dad, I'm so sorry I caused all this trouble. Hey, hey, this isn't your fault. It is! With the smoking, the dinosaurs, the stealing, my grades, I, I don't mean to be such a screw-up all the time. Look, Jess, I know I can come down on you hard sometimes. I just, I feel like I have to cram months of being a dad into the few short days I get with you. But you're an amazing young woman. I'm proud of you, and I just, I don't want you to have to make the same mistakes I've made. Why do you have an aquarium here? Can you even clone an ancient fish? Not as far as I know. I don't know of any amphibious mosquitoes. Huh? 
Well, you remember how the tour explained that we get our dino DNA from fossilized mosquitoes, right? Mosquitoes can't exactly bite an animal that spends its life underwater. Oh, yeah. Good point. Interesting concept. Living fossils. I guess you can't expect a mosquito to feed on fish swimming hundreds of meters under the sea. This little pool is cool. Were these creatures all cloned like the dinosaurs? No, these aren't actually extinct animals, Jess. They live in the oceans today. They're called living fossils because they haven't evolved much from the ancient fossil forms discovered by paleontologists. Oh, is that a horseshoe crab? Could be. To be honest, I don't really know all that much about sea fauna. <laughs> fauna. How did you two get here so fast? A tour vehicle picked us up. Great. Here I was running for my life in those tunnels, and you two are on a date. A date? Give me a break. What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Looks like a Moses. Mosa what? It looks kind of scary. Well, it's sort of a, a sea lizard of sorts. You think of a um, big moray eel with a crocodile head. Croco eel? Great. Sounds charming. Don't worry. There are no sea creatures on my list of park animals. Then what are all the feeder fish for? Feeder fish? Yeah, we came through a big room filled with tanks of fish. Laura said they were for feeding other animals, like whales. Hmm. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. I'll be by the elevator, alright? Okay, Dad. Great. Where would the training manual be? Is everything alright between you two? Mind your own business and get the elevator running. I wasn't talking to you. No more fighting. Things are bad enough as they are. I need to get the elevator running. Information. Sure could use some now. Oh good. Instructions. Insert operator's key into key slot. Okay. Etc. Etc. Code expires in 24 hours. Morning operations reset procedure. Turn key counterclockwise to input notch and hold for three seconds. Keypad will reset and beep three times. Turn key clockwise to reset. Enter previous code, then new code. Huh. That's easy enough. Huh. Very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic Era as daily key codes. Okay. So the plaque for the Paleozoic Era preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. Billy, you wouldn't happen to know the order of the Paleozoic periods, would you? Oh, sure, Jerry. First, second, third, overtime, and penalty shootout. Oh, yeah. Good. I get it. Just hurry up. Permian. Sounds right. Okay, best guess. New code. Let's keep it simple. <gasps> hey, don't open that. Are you crazy? Someone will see. Relax. See what? Damn it, you careless idiot. Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, 
If you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. I was just kidding around. Everyone, I got the elevator working. <sighs> about time. What's going on here? Nothing. We're all cool. Jeez, get over it. Let's go, we don't got all day. Dad, my ears. Attention. What's going yes. on? The Lagoon Rotunda is spectacular. It's housed in a pressurized underwater environment. We suggest you pinch your nose and push your breath to equalize your ears while we descend. If you experience any lasting discomfort or feel unusually giddy, let your attendant know immediately. Giddy? They're talking about nitrogen narcosis. It's a risk of breathing pressurized air. What makes you the expert? I, uh, saw it in a movie. Whoa! Is that where we're going? I think so. I want it stopped. What? It's not contaminated. This is a wildlife preserve. These animals are about to see. It's locked from the inside. They're extremely endangered. You're not listening to me. like an intercom up here. What? Where? Good find, honey. Laura, it's me, Jerry. Laura? Jerry, I hear you, and I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a lot easier now. What have you been doing? We're gonna stop the bombing, Jerry. This island must be preserved. I have taken the remaining survivors hostage. There are four others, three Americans and one Costa Rican. I won't let them go unless the plans to bomb the island are completely rescinded. You have no right to hold us like this! Rights are just an ideological construct. Don't turn this into a, a philosophy debate! What rights do the dinosaurs have? Don't they have the right to survive? Do their rights outweigh any of ours? It is not our rights versus theirs. Our dinosaurs are phantoms, majestic as they may be, alive as they may be. We brought them into a world that is no longer prepared for them. 
We have a responsibility to keep them isolated and under rain for the safety of our ecosystem. It's not rights, it's responsibility. And we have a responsibility to preserve our creations and allow them a chance to survive on their own terms. Billy, will InGen stop the bombing? Doubt it. InGen is not the one dropping bombs, it's the US military. And the contingency is based around a biohazard cover story. She may just be delaying the inevitable. If you don't offer me some sort of guarantee that the island will be preserved, I will have to escalate matters. This is lunacy! Fine, put the military on the phone. Hello? Hello? You want to see contamination of the global ecosystem? What are they saying? Are they going to stop the bombs? Please, tell us what they're saying. Well, they've labeled me a terrorist. That's usually how it starts. How'd you think they'd respond when you told them we were hostages? Laura, there are other options here. Holding us against our will to save the dinosaurs is only one poorly thought out solution. You're smarter than that, Laura. I know, Jerry. I know what I'm doing. I clearly expressed the consequences of threatening this island. I scored a line in the sand that has been ignored and trampled over by InGen, by the government, and now I exercise my resolve. Laura? I'm going to free the Mosasaur. Are you mad? A land dinosaur paddling to the mainland is one thing, but you're talking about releasing an apex predator into over 70% of the global ecosystem. It's only one. It can be recaptured before it eats the last of the humpbacks? Oh, don't be dramatic. Lord, don't. <gasps> Plan B. Jerry, for the sake of this island and the scientific treasure it holds, I have been forced to take an action. It's not too late. We can reverse this. No. I love the system now. There's nothing you can do. I've opened the gates and the Mosasaur is free to leave. Laura, you have to... No, Jerry, this isn't up for debate. We have to show Injun... Look out! Thinking. All right, everybody, be cool and stay away from the window. Be cool? That's right. What? You wanted I told you so? I don't know about you, but I came here to make a phone call. Hello, this is William Yoder, ID 4122. Put me through to Haskell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The U.S. Embassy. Report as follows. The island is completely overrun. Alpha Team killed in action. Save one. Myself. Bravo Team killed in action. Two helicopters disabled. Two civilian casualties. I have access to a seaworthy boat and I will evacuate the remaining survivors. Yes, sir. The military may proceed. Ninety minutes. Understood, sir. What's happening? Who did you call? That's far enough. What? You're not coming with me. There's going to be a tragic accident, Jerry. Nima, we have everything we need. We're finishing this. 
without them. What? No. What do you mean, no? We've got an agreement, remember? An agreement doesn't involve killing Jerry and Jess. What's going on? I'm sorry, Jerry. I was sent here to retrieve dinosaur embryos from Injun. I... I don't understand. You're... You're a corporate spy? Yes. Damn it, Nima! I trusted you! It's not like that. Yoder took the can. He wants it for himself. I'm trying to help you and Jess. What can? A can of shaving cream. It has a compartment to smuggle the embryos off the island. Damn it, Nima. You're blowing it! No, you are! Oscar put his faith in you. He may have been a devil, but he wore his sins on his arm for everyone to see. You... You are just a mask with nothing behind it. No, you can't do this! Don't you care? Don't you care about Oscar or Decap? That's enough! Everyone stay back! I'm gonna give you a sporting chance here. Billy, Once wait. I let go of the spoon, the rain will come back. Don't do this! Run! Is anybody hurt? Is everyone all right? You mean, besides being trapped in this bubble by that desgraciado? We're as good as dead. Don't say that. Somebody might, somebody will come for us. Oh, Jerry. Yoder left us here. He'll take the boat and not tell anyone about us. Maybe you won't take the boat. He has the canister. He knows where the boat is. He, uh doesn't have the canister. What? I'm sorry. I promise not to steal anymore. Okay, but... that one's a freebie. Jerry, look! Oh, great. Just great. Why is it flooding? Must be the damage to the door. We're losing air pressure. This place will flood right up to the highest hole in the room. Damn it! Even if we could open the door against the pressure, the whole rotunda is flooded. There's nowhere to go. Wait a second. I remember. Maybe there still is a way out. If we swim. Swim? swim? We won't make it 20 feet with that Mosasaur swimming around. Maybe. Look at that pipeline. It leads out of this lagoon. There are caves at the far end. Those caves connect to others that lead back to the beaches. We use the pipeline as cover. And you think we can hold our breath the whole way? Dad, look! There's diving gear! No, 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 no. We don't know the first thing about scuba diving. I do. What? We have to distract the Mosasaur. Figure something out and meet us back down here. Scuba diving? Are you sure about these sea caves? I used to swim this lagoon as a child. With the air tanks, it'll be easy. Famous last words. Pardon? Nothing. How are you holding up, Jess? Okay, I guess. I'd feel a lot better if you weren't trapped in the bottom of the lagoon. Don't worry. We're going to get out of this. Oh, come on. How could this be so complicated? I don't know thing one about diving. Dad, don't mess with the mixture valve. They're all preset. Since when do you know about diving? Remember those lessons you wouldn't let me take? Did your mother override my decision? Um, actually, Steve bought me lessons. It was a secret. Mom's boyfriend? Yeah. If it's any constellation, I got grounded and Steve slept on the couch for a week.
we need the wetsuits? The water should be warm. This deep and this time of the day, we would totally go hyperthermic. Don't worry, Dad. Neoprene makes everyone look good. It's not my modesty I'm worried about. Wonder how long it'll take for this room to flood. Let's not find out, Dad. I'll be right back. Feeder program. Today's feeding. That ought to keep it busy. Okay, what do we do? Dad, I changed my mind. These are rebreathers and I've never actually used one. I'm not ready for this. Hey, you could do no. this. No! What if something goes wrong? I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. Jess, I, I know I don't say this enough, but I love you. Maybe I seem so overbearing, but it's because Sarah got away from me. And I don't want the same thing to happen with us. But right now, all that matters is that we get through this. Everything else? Work that out later. It's small stuff compared to this. I just... I just don't want you to go away. I'm so tired of you always going away. I know, honey, but I'm here right now. And I'm not gonna leave you alone. I'll be here with you all the way. Now, what's the diver signal for okay? It's universal, duh. <laughs> right, right. Well, I promise to signal you whenever you check on me, okay? I'm scared. I am too. But I know we'll make it with your help. Okay, Jess, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So, how do these things work? Well, these are closed circuit rebreathers. They look custom designed. This is the regulator. It's built into the mask. It wants to help you breathe. Don't fight it. And don't hold your breath. Okay, don't hold my breath. The tank is small, maybe 15 minutes of air. Is that enough? But it recycles the air you exhale. It should work for about 45 minutes. Try not to freak out. You'll use air faster. You might even mess up the CO2 scrubbers. That sounds bad. CO2 poisoning is totally bad. That's it. The suit's mostly automated. It'll keep you, like, buoyant and manage your oxygen. Oh, and try to swim casual. Swim casual? Don't spaz out. It attracts sharks. What about mosasaurs? Probably them, too. Turn around.
Look, by the lighthouse. Yes, that must be it. Wait, I don't see anyone on it. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh! Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad! I thought I'd worked everything out. Hadn't accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then, I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But, lo and behold, you slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait. Did you... did you swim out of there? You bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? But they won't learn about that. Because one way or another, you're not gonna tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Mima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. Things didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. All that's left for me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. Ah! Nice one. Almost hurt. You looking for this? You know, things don't have to be this way. We'll kiss and make up, and share this payout, just like we planned. I am sorry I did not see your true self long ago. I could have saved us all a lot of trouble and kicked your ass to begin with. Oh, you're pretty good. Come on, Nima. You're a merc just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? They are worth more than your pathetic life. I would trade your life even for Oscars. No more talk. Shut up and fight. All right. Playtime's over. Oh, there we go. Is that the little thing we're fighting over? Oh, huh? What? That? What's that? I can have it? Why so generous all of a sudden? You want to be the hero? Yes. You want to break our deal? Do you feel that? Oh my god. Stop! You want to make new friends? Yoder! And Nima, I don't like it.
Believe me, the whole world is better off without that camp. Guys? Not me, Jimmy. Not my daughter. Guys? Nemo, I made a promise. I'll figure something out. Come back to Dallas with us. We'll find a way to get you and your Marikita. Guys! How much did you say those embryos were worth? 